Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Hell the Ale. Tonight we are going for a beer from Big Drop. It's another alcohol free one, obviously being Big Drop is this one. It is Wild Track APA and it is weighing in at never more than 0.5% ABV. And being an APA, it's got some American hops in it and it's got in there Chinook, Columbus and Centennial. Uh, and according to this little panel of info on the back, it's rated somewhere between Goody Goody and Real Wild Child. And uh, it says here, the American Sea Hops take centre stage delivering pine resin and tropical notes on the palate, coupled with a distinctive bitterness and a punch of grapefruit. And that's your little info panel right there. It's quite useful, hopefully. And uh, yeah, 53 calories per can, 30 IBUs. Um, so yeah, a little bit of bitterness, not massive. But some, you've got the usual ingredients of water, barley, oat, maltodextrin, hops, and yeast. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get it out and into the AF Beer Club's Virtual AF Beer Festival glass, because uh, it's part of that festival. And hopefully, this is a better one from Big Drop, because their pails I've never been overly keen on. So, the pour is... Colourful, it's got a good colour to it. We have a golden coloured clear as a bell beer with a little bit of white head that's not particularly sort of compact and concise, but you know, it's a good colour. It looks like a good lager actually. Um, yeah, looks all right, it's a whiff. As with Big Drop House, it's really light on the aroma. I'm not getting a lot of anything. It's, so I've just had a Thai green curry, so everything's a little bit sort of muted and I added extra bird's eyes for fun. So, yeah, it's really, really light on the aromas. There is a little bit of malt coming through, not a lot. Um, there's a sweetness coming in but yeah it's really quite light on the aroma so it looks all right it smells very very light to the taste cheers okay it's got that sweet malt that i'm not overly keen on at all the body is decent it has a medium body it's lightly carbonated, it's smooth and velvety, but it's got that sweet malt. There is a little bit of hot bitterness, not a lot, a little bit. And we have, should we say a tiny bit of pine resin? Tiniest amount. But much like the, uh, the aromas, the flavors are really, really light. You see what it's aiming at, but it's, a bit short of the mark. Now it's a decent body, light on the flavours, light on the aroma, little bit of bitterness. The finish is quite dry. That's where most of the bitterness resides as well. It's just too, too light. Yeah. Too light on the flavours for me. So, Big Drops, Wild Track APA. What do I think of you? Well, before I tell you what I think of you, we're gonna to go to the untapped aid memoir, which shows there have been only 27 check-ins, but an average of 3.41, which I think is a little bit high for my taste. So, let's give it my scores of uh, Looks, aroma, body, taste, and finish, as always. And uh, a maximum of one point per section, with naught being terrible, one being superb, and everything else a margin of that uh, in between. So the appearance was all right. You know, it's got a nice color. Let's have a head generation again. Let's get a bit of head going. Come on, there we go. It looks all right. It's a lovely color. You've got a white head. I mean. Not overly compact and, and concise, but as a beer goes, it looks decent. It's got a little bit of inclusions to suggest it's not overly filtered, so hopefully to keep some of the flavour in, but as we know, 
that's not always the case. I can't see any reason to knock it down by much. Like I say, I'd like a... I'd like it. No, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be genuine. I'm going to give it the full point because I like the look. You know, I can't fault it there. The aroma is too light. You know, you've got some decent hops, hops, hops in here. Uh, like I say, with a centennial chin from Columbus. There's just not, nothing coming through. I say the tiniest hint of malt, but it's that. It's just a hint. It's. It's so light, might as well not be there. That's where it gets its first null point, zero. Body is excellent. You know, even for a pale ale, this has got good body. It's medium, well carbonated, soft and silky in the mouth. That's its redeeming quality. Excellent presentation in that sense. It gets the full point. Taste though, like I say, I know where it's going with the taste. It's got hints of that bitterness. You've got hints of the hops. You've got a tiny hint of pine resin. The malt comes through as well, and it's not a malt I like. I don't like them overly sweet. I prefer them more balanced, a little bit more, well, less, a little bit less sweet. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's inoffensive. It's light. It's going to please most people who perhaps otherwise are not big beer drinkers. That's, that's, it's safe. That's what it is. It's safe. I'm going to give it the quarter point. I'm going to be, I'm going to be sort of ruthless. Be honest. So the finish is where most of the bitterness resides. And on an American pale, I want hops in there. I, I love those big grapefruit bitterness and I'm not getting it. I'm getting hints of it. I want more of it. That's what I love about an American Pale is those big, big grapefruit pithy bitterness. And it's lacking. It's lacking in the hops. It's lacking. Oh, there's a little bit of it, but not a lot of longevity. Um, it could do with more. It's all right. I'm going to give it the point five, which gives me a total of 2.75 out of five on my untapped score of joy. So... Better than some I've had from Big Drop, but not as good as their, their stouts. Uh, I've got another couple of their stouts coming, the uh, the coconut ones. So I'm looking forward to those. I've enjoyed their stouts. But the pails have been their weaker points. And Wild Track APA is not a lot different in that sense. It's just very light and just short of the mark. It's very safe, shall we say. And on that note, we're going to play it safe and end it here. That's been the beer. I've been me. And I'll see you again soon for another one. Bye.